if it don't affect us directly. You know? And that's a sad thing. That's sad. And we wonder why we have the problems we have today. We number one in every damn thing. Cancer, obesity, all that shit. But we, we still wonder. And the rest of the world look at us and laugh at us. You know, type in, go to Google and type in stupid American. And, and see what you pull up. Or just go to YouTube and type in stupid American and see what you pull up. And don't say stupid white person. And don't say stupid Hispanic or Mexican. And don't say stupid black person. And don't say stupid uh, Asian or anything like that. Or Irish or Italian. Stupid American. Okay? And you pull up some shit. You really see what other people around the world think of us. Okay? Think of us. But we look at each other as being better than the other through racism. Hmm? We look at each other, we, uh, white people here look at black people here as being better. We both side dying at the same fucking rate of cancer and obesity. And other bullshit. Vaccin flu vaccinations. You gotta be out of your mind and be taking that shit. And you don't even know what's in it. Some of that shit got mercury in it. Mercury was banned, okay? From being put in thermometers because it was that damn toxic. Toxic. A small amount of mercury can pollute a whole damn lake, okay? A small lake. That's how that's how toxic it, it is. But you put it in your body. And when you do take the flu shot, guess what? You still probably gonna get the flu. You still probably gonna get sick. That's that's crazy. That is absolutely fucking crazy. You need to wake up. I don't give a damn if you black or white, you need to wake up. Because we facing problems. Big problems. You white folks starting to see you in the same boat as black folks. But you ain't see that shit in the 1960s. Nope. He's like, white is, 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 is right. It's good to be white. Let me ask you something. Is it good to be white right now? I don't know how, how I feel. I really don't. And I would never know. But I have to ask you, is it good to be white right now? When you fighting for your damn rights, your basic rights that's being taken away along with your damn pensions and 401ks by the same motherfuckers that, that, that you stood by in the 1960s okay, that, that, that's selling you out right now and that's raping and robbing your ass financially and of your rights you in the same boat as us you in the same damn boat as us. Because you know what? I told you in my last videos. The only people that benefit. Is the reptilians. Okay. And those who are close to them. You're not going to benefit. You a, 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 a mason. I don't care what degree you are in. You in the same fucking boat. If new. If new. If thorough. If, if World War 3. Hit in the next 20 minutes. It would be every fucking man for himself. Just like it's always been. But in peacetime, yeah, everything is alright. Everything is fine. My brother, my sister, you ain't gonna be thinking that way. When the first nuke go off. Or the first damn big ass tsunami hit. You know, caused by, by, the, by the, uh, 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 the rock slide. In the Canary Islands, okay, that they talking about. You white folks need to wake up as well. And cut all this bullshit out. Because the, the, the people that suffer the most is the, the, the people that's ignorant. Okay? People perish for a lack of knowledge. 
Okay, he even said that in the Bible. You better get it together. You better get it together. This fucking nonsense that's going on in the world, you got to be smart. Like I said, I applaud the people, both black and white, out there protesting against Wall Street, but they ain't doing a damn thing. Okay? And they ain't gonna do nothing. That's not the real problem. I told you the real problem is the damn radiation. Okay? That we all breathe. It. Even the physicist, uh, Michio Kaku said we all have some of Chernobyl in our system. And that was back in 86. So what you think Fukushima gonna have, what kind of impact Fukushima gonna have on us? In the next five years, 10, 15, 20 years. That's if we still be around. Okay, that's still if life as we know it still exists. So you know what? You need to be smart and wise up. Because all a lot of this bullshit that you see on TV and the media is nothing but a distraction. That's all it is. I talked about things being a distraction in my last videos. Look through the illusions and all that bullshit that's presented against to you every day. Okay? Get past that bullshit. And you'll be able to see the real things. The real problems. The real issues. The real enemy. Because I said before, the real enemy don't look like me. And it definitely don't look like your ass. Okay? Far from it. Far from it. And you need to re realize, in order to fight something, you, really, you need to know what you up against. And it's not... A human being that looks like me or anybody else. It is not. I told you these reptilian beings are your real enemy. This radiation that's going around the world is your real enemy. But even more so of a real enemy than reptile beings. Because shit, if you ain't got no rights if you dead, you ain't got no rights to fight for. Because you dead. You dying. You sick. Radiation is something. It's hard to get rid of. Billions of years, it still be here. Okay? Half life, a billion years, some of the substances. The, some of the background radiation. Okay? And... I hope that a lot of you black folks really, really wake up, okay? I mean, you you really need to wake up. If you black folks still looking for a savior, it ain't gonna come. That savior is you. That's within you, all right? That's you, it's up to you. It's not up to Christ. It's not even up to God. Whichever one you want to choose. If, if, if it's a new or the true creator of this universe. The ones that even created the Anunnaki. Or the one who created the Anunnaki. Okay? The one true creator God. It's not up to him. It's up to you. Alright? To, to, to change things. And by changing things, you have to recognize that there is a problem. You have to accept the truth. Stop getting mad and do something about it. Stop bitching and do something about it. Fight. That's what you need to do. I don't care if you have an addiction that you need to get rid of first. You need to fight it. Because the fight don't, don't stop. You're going to constantly be fighting for a while because that's how many problems there are. Just in the black community alone. Some black folks, I'm, I'm going to tell you flat out, a lot of them need to be put to death. Alright? A lot of motherfucking niggas need to be put to death. I'm going to tell it like it is. 
I love my brothers and sisters, but a lot of you motherfuckers need to be put to death. All right? Because in order for black folks to get better, we're going to have to separate the good from the bad. Okay? The, 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 the uh, parasites that, that's leeching on the black folks. Okay? Because that's, that's how out of hand this thing got. It, it's, it's, it's absolutely fucking terrible about some of the shit that's going on in the black community. Don't being pushed. A lot of these fucking pastors in the church molesting kids. Sleeping around with, with, with women, getting them pregnant. I, this girl that I used to date told me that she got pregnant for a pastor that was married. Okay, and he forced her to have an abortion. Not once, twice. Okay? Now this is a man, a so-called man of God. Okay? That's hustling people out of their money in the hood. Chances, of, chances are if he done it to her. He done done it to some other chicks as well. That's the motherfuckers that need to be put to death. Okay. That's the ones that need to be hung by the fucking nuts. Alright. Because in order for black folks to fix themselves. You got to get rid of the, the parasites. And the cancers. That fucking plague us in the black community. And I'm not talking about fascism or nothing like that. You know, uh, 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 going just killing people for the hell of it or whatever. That's not what I'm talking about. But in the black community, we got our own fucking problems. A white man ain't going to solve your problems. He got problems of his own. He can't even solve his own fucking problems. Is he expected for him to solve it? No. It's going to have to be within you. You to take a stand. You tired of seeing these young boys walk around here so called thugging it out, their pants hanging off their ass, okay? Hanging off their ass and going in the court and submitting their fucking rights before the judge. I didn't see this shit. Go to court and plead guilty. Just to so-called get it over, get that sentence, that sentencing. And the judge tell them, you have a right to attorney. You have a right to such and such. You Are you going to waive your rights? And a lot of these niggas say yeah. And then want to go rap, make a rap song about it. About them being all hard. And, 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 and uh, going through all this other bullshit. Nigga, please. You, you, you'll fight somebody on the street. You'll kill somebody on the street. But your black ass will get up in the court to be bitched out. Bending over, spreading your ass cheeks for the goddamn district, the, 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 the prosecutor, the judge, and your damn attorney. I, I can't respect that. I can't respect that. Fuck you niggas, point blank. You will play to the, the black community also. Because of your lack of leadership. You go out of the courtroom and you be bitched out. But when you when your ass get locked up in that jail cell, you swear you hard. Or when you get on the streets, you swear you hard. But you don't wanna you don't wanna go up against the big dogs. You don't wanna fight a real fucking fight. You run a perpetrate like you a damn warrior, like you a fighter, like you hard. But when it comes to a real fucking fight, you don't want to do nothing. Your black ass is a scared boy. That's what you is. That's why we, that's why we looked upon around the world as being weak. We would try to look so damn hard or whatever, do go out our fucking way to look like a damn warrior, getting all kinds of tattoos and shit like that. Okay? But if it's a tattoo of a damn knife, or a tattoo of a fucking Uzi on your damn arm or something like that on your chest, but you don't put up a fucking fight in the courtroom. Bitch, please. Point blank. I said it, bitch, please. You niggas make me sick.